Hello, good evening. Um, Daniel Miller here. Thank you so much for joining my broadcast um, and also from being a part of uh, Destiny Community Online. Um, we've had no broadcast earlier today. Um, I had a uh, relaxing uh, Sunday and because I've been streaming quite a bit during the last week, um, some of the streams were very lengthy like the one last night, um, I felt it was necessary for me to take um, a break and um, in the area where I live we had a beautiful um, sunny day today and I spent most of my day um, in the park and uh, before I went for a long walk I um, as usual went to my swimming pool and I had a really good swim so it was a very very good um, highly relaxing highly re-energizing day and uh, it will end with a somewhat shorter stream um, but you know we'll uh, do uh, at least one quest uh, on destiny and uh, I look forward to obviously um, share it with you and I look forward to receiving further advice and tips from all of you who have been very very helpful during the week uh, I have to admit last night I had a wonderful help from one community member who um, spotted me really struggling with a lengthy dead um, I simply did not have sufficient weaponry or adequate kit to defeat the last or the biggest boss in this quest and I really struggled for several hours in fact um, and this kind community member uh, spotted me and stepped in and basically with the weapon he had he resolved the box within seconds um so you know because he was very busy with other things we couldn't really talk much but i was very curious to find out how he got the weaponry and at what stage of the game um so you could see how useful and how productive and how helpful our community is um the uh, uh, same member became both my friend and my follower and we'll obviously hook up in the future to play the game which is going to be absolutely awesome and we will talk about um, the game overall and how he acquired all these mighty weapons which were resolving the big bosses um, more or less straight away but as we are having a bit of a shorter uh, stream today we will very quickly jump in I just want to tell you that I did play one two three four five six seven different um, missions yesterday some of them had several sub quests one of them was a deadly dangerous death match called prison of elders um, and that again was almost impossible um, you know to get completed if I was doing it as a single player um, and um, Initially, I played uh, together with two other um, community members and we managed to get through with some difficulty, with many deaths. And then, second time around, I wanted to try all by myself. Um, I did my best, but did not succeed. And I had to ask again for some extra help, which uh, did come in very quickly. And yet again, we finished the, um, this particular mission um, in due course. I have to say that the other two community members were very experienced, were extremely fast. Uh, they had proper kit and weapons which were dealing with the enemy, perhaps more appropriately than myself. And as you could see, I still haven't reached the level 40, uh, which means that I've not been able to get some of the most advanced weapons. But you know, I'm getting there, slowly but surely. I know time. I'll be able to do exactly the same. So, without further ado, we will just proceed. And there we are. Slowly but surely, we get into our login screen. And as always, we'll start with um, our warlock, human male, currently on the level 35. 
and we'll play it as DRB Miller, in other words, myself. There we are, back in the orbit. Uh, I have uh, one message, just bear with me. Let's have a look. Please bear with me, I'm not getting my Twitch stream um, as yet on my editors. <laughs> I'm not sure as to why, but it's just not presenting me with my stream. Oh well, I have to get it on another one. Just bear with me, please. Um, I will respond to the message in a moment. I could see that um, one of the members had come in. Uh, Dead Devil Gaming, hello, how are you doing? Hi again. Uh, great to see you. Uh, thank you so much for joining our community, for coming in and for being uh, yet again a part of uh, our discussions and gameplay. Hello, hi. Dead Devil Gaming says he's good. I'm very good as well. I had a wonderful day um, in London. Uh, we had really about a beautiful weather. It was like a proper um, late summer day, very warm, sunny, not a single cloud in the sky, and um, you know, just absolutely perfect for strolls. Uh, went to our local park, went to um, my local sports centre for my regular swimming, and generally had a very relaxing day. Um, which was particularly good for me in order to re-energize, to be, uh, you know, re-equipped and ready to play Destiny. Uh, I had some very lengthy streams in the last few days, so it was about a time for, you know, for me to take a, a short break. Uh, but, you know, I'm back again. Our stream's going to be a bit shorter tonight. Nevertheless, we'll try to complete at least one mission. Uh, so bear with me, I have to get um, the stream up and running so that we could really nicely talk and see everything. Yeah, there we go, I managed to get it going. Excellent, so we are more than ready to commence with our future missions. Uh, the last one we completed was the Dreadnought. As I said, it was very difficult with a you know difficult boss right at the end. Uh, the boss which I could not kill uh, or neutralize by myself. And then I had a very kind community member coming in and helping me and enabling, enabling me um, you know to go to bed uh, so after completed dreadnought we did not go to our HQ we did not uh, debrief our commanders on the results of our mission and this is exactly what we are going to do now we are back to HQ which is on earth in the tower Look at this beautiful scenery. This is allegedly Saturn, and there's a big hole there on this Saturn ring. Um, what a tremendous view. What game are you playing, Daredevil Gaming? Are you also on Destiny? Or perhaps are you trying the beta testing of Call of Duty Blackout, which is currently offered on PS4. Loads of players from the community go back to me saying that um, this weekend was all about uh, Call of Duty and they were doing the beta testing. Uh, I unfortunately did not join us yet, but we'll try at some stage. 
We'll go to Master Rahul first to decoy our weapons. Good. I could use a distraction. Daredevil Gaming says uh, he is just in bed watching streams as he doesn't have a PS4 yet. Cool. Well, that's a great way to end the day, you know, just get it on your phone or your tablet and um, I do that quite a lot as well, you know, when I lie down. Uh, I watch streams and various other things on my phone and my tablet. It's absolutely ideal. Um, recently I got a brand new Sony Xperia uh, XZ2 and this particular phone is um, well integrated with PlayStation. I have a um, terrific uh, PS app on that phone and I can then connect with my PlayStation where I am and I can then play my games remotely and it is of my understanding that you can do that only on Sony Xperia phones and no other and that is extraordinary and that's the future of gaming can you imagine where you are in the world you want to play the game um, there you go the devil gaming says he has the uh, song Xperia Sony Xperia uh, L1 well I'm sure you can get then um, PlayStation app on Xperia as well and uh, uh, I just find it extraordinary you know wherever we are we can then access our games and play them I'm not sure whether at the moment we can also stream those games but definitely if we want to just check them out or chase our scores or you know get a bit of a refresher we can do that on our phone and we can do that wherever we are uh, directly through our PlayStation so that is absolutely extraordinary and I've been sort of looking at it and trying it with heavy rain and it was, it was astonishing it was one of the best experiences I've ever had I have to say that uh, I have not been overall keen on um, you know, Android gaming, but in the recent months and since the last sort of year, there have been some fantastic new Android apps coming out. Uh, one of the best is um, obviously PUBG, which has taken everyone by storm, and it absolutely works beautifully, um, almost perfectly on uh, the Android apps. I played it a lot in the last few months on my Android tablet and it really gave me uh, some stellar results um, be it um, in terms of its graphics or its playability or you know everything else when you were to access your leaderboards uh, your uh, achievements all the details in addition to um, having an opportunity to do many saves with everything that you achieved during the game so absolutely amazing and really really you know a nice smooth gameplay as well without any buffering or any major crashes or you name it uh, so I really look forward to uh, trying my um, Sony Xperia PlayStation app when playing some of the games and perhaps I'll try it also on Sony Xperia tablet you know the bigger screen maybe even more exciting um, and definitely uh, the best way to go uh, lots of people had said to me that due to the way uh, the PlayStation is currently operating many gamers are either buying PS4 or converting to it so there's been a major uh, um, kind of boost of um, people on the membership side and um, I can only most highly recommend it to everyone you know if you have uh, both consoles Xbox and PlayStation and you also have your PC then you have the liberty to play just by any game on any platform and that is why I see as the very best. Uh, Dead Devil Gaming says I'm gonna have to go and get some sleep see you next stream Daniel Miller Gaming as I have a college tomorrow no worries thank you so much for saying hello for coming in for being a part of our community all of which is much appreciated have a good day at college tomorrow and we'll see you soon we'll be here almost every day with our Destiny gameplay so I acquired some Moita Flight and Strange Queen and we have some items to decode we all are safer with that. Rift Valley Machine Gun I think we have Safe. Helmet Axiom Coven 5 we have another one as well we don't need Make too many helmets there one true constant and we have one Gauntlet Tengren and that is 
for Axiom Coven 2. So we'll go and have Back a look at those. We'll make sure we're properly equipped. Uh, let's have a look at a new gun that would have come in. Machine gun is this one. 187 attack, that's very mighty. So that's much stronger than the one we've got at the moment. We equip it immediately. This is a sniper rifle, which is probably the best we've got. And the other ones we don't really need. All of this said is so well so far. Has to be said. This fusion rifle hasn't been really particularly useful, I have to admit. Um, of those here. One eighty two defense, one sixty five, one sixty six, one sixty nine, we don't need that. One eighty two, one sixty five, that's all weaker to what we've got equipped already we don't actually need any extras in there uh, let's have a look at our kit I think this one is 175 this is 165 we'll take 175 this is the best one so far this one we will not need anymore and then we have these boots that's 184 165 165 okay we don't need 165 these are really uh, inferior to the kit we've got um, as you could see, any time I'm um, dismantling or discarding any uh, of those bits of kit of my weapons, I get some money, which is in Glimmer, and then I can use this money at some other stage. So have a look. Bond of Wonders, 183 defense. That's 165 defense, we don't need that. 182, 220. Well, we got this Stormcaller's Bond, and we were given it by... Um, uh, Ik Ik Ikara uh, and uh, um, you know it's, it's a wall of bond with T20 defense and we'll be able to use it after we reach level 40 so we still have to wait 5 levels but it will increase our intellect by 13 and our strength by 15 so it's absolutely awesome right, so we don't need this old ghost I think we are sorted out. We don't really need to do any more uh, checking. We'll have a look at me. Look at this. I have this absolutely mighty Saros Regime auto rifle. It worked so well in our recent missions. It's a real joy to work with. And actually it looks like a weapon from Mass Effect more than actually something from Destiny. Um, truly awesome, beautifully designed and well put into practice by me. And you can see our jacket. It doesn't have that many uh, patches on the rear. Its belt kit is situated over here and here on the back. Works beautifully, protecting me well, and also it blends in very well with some of the hostile terrain out there on Mars in particular, considering its color. The boots as well, excellent for um, moon missions and also for any other difficult terrain on those other planets. So, we are ready and we will now go directly to our commanders. Well, we'll check our postmaster first. He obviously had some extra kit for us before. I keep getting all these presents, although I have no friends. Which is astonishing. Somebody is thinking of me. And we got a new sniper. And we've got another weapon in there. 
So both of these will have to be um, decoded. We'll go and have a look. And when we complete this, we're off to our commanders. From one scholar to another. Now that really is fascinating. Moita flight. And this would be radio PSM. So this is a one of the weapons, but I'll need to see which one. I hope we helped. PSM. Scout rifle, radial PSM, 107 attack, magazine 15. That looks awesome, very mighty, but we'll still keep this one. I really like this weapon, it's really worked well, but we'll try radial um, later. And we'll see what it, you know, what it works, what it's going to work like in, in our missions. Okay, so that's all ready. He is well equipped. He has oiled his weapons. He checked his kit, triple checked, and he's going back to his commanders. We don't have to talk to Iris Morn anymore. But I think what are you doing here instead of fighting? We are going to be able to speak to. Ikora doesn't want to speak to us, but we do have our friend KD6, who is Hunter Warlock, and we'll talk to him. How does it feel to have the keys to a dreadnought? It feels wonderful, sire. It was extremely difficult to get it, though, actually. But that was in the top few for flawless successes. You are welcome. That is a part of the Taken King DLC, as you could see. So he comes up in the Taken King. Uh, I actually have read um, some reviews on this particular uh, edition of Destiny, which is Destiny the Collection. And it contains you know, all the DLCs and is basically the most complete edition released so far. And all of those reviews were absolutely superior. And they really praise the Taken King update which would have taken place at some point after the game was released. And I've read all about the game enhancements and all the other options and all sorts. I did actually complain a bit about it yesterday because the first part of the Taken King missions were looking and feeling quite different to the rest of the missions played before. And I guess there were two issues in there. One was having um, a sort of semi, well, puzzle puzzle kind of looking experience which I didn't like. I thought it was um, kind of deviating from the usual. And then the other that disturbed me a lot more was the need to jump, glide and leap several times during some of the missions. And what was upsetting was the fact that when I tried to leap literally at the point where this was necessary, the controls uh, on my PS4 didn't really seem to work properly. So I couldn't really elevate my character well enough and he couldn't glide as much as you know, at some other spaces in the game. Um, so that was very much of concern. It did take a few, you know, uh, it caused me a bit of difficulty. Yeah. It did take a bit of time to profess and to find out a way to sort of crack those bits. Uh, but, um, you know, by saying that, all the official reviews were, you know, very positive and they said that the Taken King was the best update uh, and really completely changed the way the game was played altogether. So obviously I have to take them, you know, by the word, and uh, um, simply, um, you know, have to keep playing the game and then discovering all the other options. Um, it will be hard for me to compare because, by the signs of it, all of them have been integrated after the Taken King was fully installed. But um, you know, uh, they said that it made this game playable forever. So it meant we could really re-enter the world as a different character, try different options, get re-weaponized, and always have a lot of fun throughout. So we will accept this mission. We're gonna rip that beast wide open, but my wings are clipped. Go talk to Zavala. Right. So we need to talk to Zavala, who is the main commander, and we'll get some further instructions. You watch yourself. He's here. Got him. A dweller on the threshold. 
Hello, old friend. Good work, Guardian. Oryx has bled us. It's time we bleed him in return. The Cabal may, may be an army of thugs, but they don't do things by half measure. If anyone will have details on Oryx's location, they will. So we need to find Cabal. And we'll accept the mission. We need real intelligence to get to the Taken King. I will get it, sire, with pleasure. Fear God, honor the king. Stick to the plan. I shall, sire, I shall. So we will stick to the plan and we will pursue our next mission. Uh, I think we can just simply go into the orbit and then we have to go to Cabal. But we need to find Cabal. I think. Oh, it says we need to upgrade. We received something. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. Stormcaller Warlock subclass. We have another skill, and that is Chain Lightning. Your Thunderstrike chains to another nearby enemy. They're very mighty. The only problem is they don't last very long, but obviously we can use them at any time. And, you know, we use them in the same way as we would with our grenades. And then the lightning strikes, and the enemy is completely obliterated. Alright, we double check weapons already, it all seems fine. We need to simply look at our possible destination. We're looking for Cabal, so if we're looking for Cabal, uh, let's see, Dreadnought, Rings of Saturn, we've played that. Um, Venus, maybe? Let's see, Cabal? No, they're not here. Moon. No, they're not here either. Keep watching Ishta Singh to aid the city in his efforts. Not there either. I see they're there. So in fact, it looks like the Taken King missions are taking place mainly on Saturn. My feeling is that's going to be a very difficult mission, considering that Dreadnought last, which was, oh, at the end unmanageable, because obviously I didn't have many enough weapons, or the correct weapons. Um, and also what disturbed me was that in the last section of the mission, which I played for quite some time, I was to be resupplied by... Um, uh, by uh, several crates of heavy ammunition and suddenly at some point the heavy ammunition disappeared and then I wasn't able to resupply myself anymore once I you know I was to run out of ammunition um, I couldn't do anything I was literally out of ammo and left to the mercy of those beasts uh, but you know let's see what this new mission is going to bring uh, we are not gonna go back to that um, Bridge, but we will go to Mausoleum. Uh, a soldier cabal ship crashed on the dreadnought. Learn what they know about Oryx and his defenses. It looks to me like a co op game. Um, well, obviously, I'll try to do it by myself, but if not, I'll ask some of the members to step in because I discovered that because I'm only on level 35, I'm not properly equipped to fight this kind of massive massive big firefights and the bosses at the end even if I killed all the enemy will um, not be neutralized easy or I will not have uh, an adequate enough weapon to destroy them so that might be an open invitation to everyone if you want to come in come in and we'll fight it together uh, so the mission is called enemy of my enemy 
um, back to Dreadnought, which is on the rings of Saturn. Stand by. Orcs could be anywhere on the Dreadnought. With time, we could find him, but we don't have time. The Cabal have been there long enough to have real field intelligence. The path to Orcs lies on their ship. Understood, sire. We'll proceed with caution. We'll destroy the enemy. Fear God. Honor the King. A Cabal are still holding out. Multiple survivors. Survival is a temporary condition. Cut through them and get inside this ship. Well, as you could see, what we'll do is... I think, unfortunately, I came back to the same area where I was last night. And that's a dreadful area. But basically, what I'll do is I'll snipe them, you know, from this distance. And I'll try to get as many of them neutralized as possible with precision shots, as you could see. Yeah, this one's fleeing, look at him. for my sniper rifle. Fights this hard to protect a crashed ship. That's not a crash site, it's a beachhead. Only way those doors will open is to send reinforcements. Draw them out. I think you got their attention. When those doors open, fight through it. Some boss again by the sounds of it. Did it deal with all this? All result? changing weapon right now, or is it? Let's go from the other side maybe. Because they have some very mighty rocket launchers in there. And we don't want to be having that sort of close shave again, I don't think. But mind you, I got my sniper back. So with my sniper back, they will be fried.
Ah, all resolved. Pretty good, hey? It's a lot easier than that last written on mission, I have to admit. My goodness, the armor's so hard. It's exactly the same location and a different kind of enemy, I guess. Which did make a big difference. Okay, so we complete this, that's excellent. To my great joy and delight. Which means maybe this particular broadcast will not be very lengthy. Okay, that's all done. So now we need to go where? There's one more enemy down there, but not for long. So we need to go into this hangar. Just a moment. Zavala, we're in. What's next? Cabal protocol is to detonate any ship that crashes. If they haven't after all this time, it must be a base of operations. They're looking for something on the dreadnought. See what they know about Oryx. Roger that, sire. I'll proceed with caution. I went out. <coughs> we did have a sign. Perhaps this was the, the actual entry point. Just bear with us. For some reason, in my vicinity, the temperature is dropping significantly and I will have to put something on. So one moment please, I will need to have a jumper on or something. There we are. I'm properly equipped here in real life so that I do not catch cold. And that's the last thing I want at the moment. The temperature has been actually very mild and very good today. Um, I got some messages coming in on Twitch. Daredevil Gaming has gone to bed. He said he has a college tomorrow so therefore he couldn't watch my stream any longer. Hi, this is DSP Sharp. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining our Destiny broadcast. Also for being part of our community. Uh, trying to play Crucible. Uh, not, re not really, not yet. Um, I will do Crucible once I completed the entire game. Uh, I've not done so and before I join I'll have to reach level 40. And then we can play, um, you know, the um, death matches and player versus player missions and all of that. I really look forward to that. I've not even tried it yet once, but I've heard some very good things about it. Have you played it? If so, can you let me know how exciting uh, the uh, Crucible section is? Uh, did you enjoy it? Are you playing it there with other players? What does it look like? So let us know. Everybody from our community would love to hear from you. But we are going to proceed here. And we are going to see if more than the enemies are ahead of us, which I believe they are. Look at those beasts in there, my goodness. Where did they come from from there? Mm -hmm. not played a game for long today but I'm already feeling a bit sleepy because it's coming to my bedtime that's why 
and thanks to destiny I was not able to go to bed as early as always. Which tells me any time I get to any difficult missions I have to ask for some assistance and I will do it in co-op and therefore my bedtime will not be disappearing from me. It will be there quicker than during the last few nights. Okay. As you could see, always a good idea to have sniper on. Uh, as soon as they saw me, they're hiding and they will try to evade me. I'm not gonna let him. See that? Position shot. But what I want to do is I want to basically give them precision shots and oh, then nice. just There's one a terminal nearby. It should have the info we're looking for. You know, we get the usual which is like when you find repetition, one bullet, one kill. And that's really quite a good score. And these beasts deserve it, you know, they're ghastly, they're brutal, they're, they're, they're true tyrants, I mean, you know, it's just true menace. No, 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 no. He is fast, isn't it? And he is fast as well. I'm not that fast, but I have some mighty weapons. See him? Back to square one with him. Well, our sniper rifle needs more bullets, just as always. There they are again, look at him! These guys the Centurions, or whatever they're called, they remind me of the, the guys from um, the enemies from Gears of War. Okay, for those we'll have a different remedy. Okay. Actually, I want to try that new weapon which I acquired just to compare. It's this one with one when one each seven attack, hang on. And it has a magazine of fifteen. It doesn't have a rapid rate of fire, so we'll have to see whether it would work to our advantage or not, but that you know something we'll find out. So let's see, any more beastly deadly Ghastly is down there. Where are they? Probably down here. Don't have any more sniper rifle ammunition. So I'm a bit stranded. No, not really my sniper rifle kit. And what do I do? Try to give them headshots. I didn't get in there. And then when they come closer, what we'll do is we'll use our massive big powers there. So you can see. quickly move forward get out of here 
go down and wait until we energize. This weapon is too slow, I should have known. And that's causing me some concerns. Uh, I need to very quickly get my other weapon. This weapon is not, you know, that bad. It's a good repetition weapon. But for these kinds of sequences we need to be a lot faster than that. So you can see. Got him. We need to see if there's any ammunition left in there. Hopefully there is. But very quickly I'm changing it to my all weapon, which is Saros Regime. We'll try this one as well, see whether that will work better. Should fire short but fast bursts. <laughs> Let's see. We have to go down here. Oh, I found it. Okay. The Cabal have located Oryx. He's protected in the center of the Dreadnought, reachable only through something they call a rupture. Sun. Must be some kind of portal. Have the Cabal found one? They've got a team heading for it right now. Sun is the track Cabal. Get there first. Understood, sire. I'll get there first. Oi, when I. So just remember always stay in cover, <coughs> proceed with caution, <coughs> triple check everything, which includes your weapons and your kit at all times after the mission and also prior to the mission. Sometimes you change weapons during the mission if necessary, if you need to use a faster weapon. Uh, if uh, ambushed, then do not panic, run away from the enemy to preserve life and turn around 180 degrees and then take them out one by one. Always remain alert and switched on. Dirty base. Right. So this looks like a firefight. The Cabal Scout team is heading for the Rapture. Drag them down, find a possible portal to Oryx. Right, so this is where they are likely to be. I'm in three bullets there for my sniper rifle. Let's use them wisely. Look at them. Completely unaffected. It's dreadful. Mm. 
This is a good weapon. We found the Cabal team headed for the rupture. They're outnumbered by Taken. Forget what they say about the enemy of my enemy. Something stands between you and the rupture, put it down. So where is that beast now? Looks like he's mobile now. He's gone down there. That's much longer. Just recruited a centurion. Let him take all he wants. He won't be around long enough for it to matter. Some bullets in there for my sniper rifle. So that's pretty good.
That must be the rupture. Eris, what's their next move? Tolan spoke of statues the Hive use to navigate ruptures. We'll look for them. I'll see if it's still active. There we go. It's linked to the rupture, but I can't understand how the hive control it. Let's try another statue. Find another statue. This is a good mission, I love it. Much better than a dreadnought I played last night, I have to admit. Statues control where the rupture leads. They could deliver us to Oryx. So they could deliver us to Oryx. Right, where is the third one? Maybe down here somewhere. dead. But something's happening at the rupture. Return to the rupture.
rupture's opening. The Thrall will smother your light. Do not underestimate them as Tarlo did. not really a, a good weapon for them so I need to change to the other weapon which is a lot better this one the rupture's opening The Thrall will smother your light. Do not underestimate them as Tarlo did. going that way. Then it's true. Only the Ascendant can will a rupture to open. There's something Ascendant passing through right now. The darkness consumed it. Yeah. Something ascendant passing through right now. Difficult for sure. I need more rapid fire than this. There's something ascendant passing through right now.
Rupture is closed. It will only open for Ascendant Hive. Then how do we reach Oryx? Become your enemy. Super Charge, level 36. We'll sort this out, Guardian. Head back to the tower when you can. This is wonderful. I have completed my mission. I'm getting back to the tower. And I've come to the end of my broadcast. It's a bit of a shorter broadcast today than usual, but the idea was to complete one of those Dreadnought missions, considering how difficult they were yesterday, and I was able to do that, although I have to say this one was pretty difficult. That beastly monster in there was very hard to neutralize. But there we are, and we will continue with our uh, broadcast tomorrow. We will uh, pursue our missions, uh, which may well be connected to the Dreadnought. Um, and before we do that, we will just have a look at our scores. 110 kills, 45 precision kills, 3 deaths. Uh, that um, monster was able to neutralize me 3 times. And we'll take a snapshot of that. And then we'll have a look at the mission summary as well. Which is uh, exactly the same. No assisted kills this instance. We'll continue, we'll go back in the orbit. And then we will just have a very quickly uh, have a look at the options and uh, our upgrades. Previous mission summary, as you could see, we actually got some upgrades by the looks of it. Uh, activity rewards, we've seen that. We've seen that. These are the advancements. We'll take a snapshot of that. Bounty is practical shooting, crucible bounty. Let's have a look. No. Enemy in every corner. Completed. Vanguard bounty. Hand of Thunder Vanguard bounty. Completed. So, enemy in every corner was get 5 kills within 3 seconds 5 times. Uh, get 30 arc weapon kills um, and defeat 50 vex. So that's all good. In fact, we can go to our bounty hunt and we exchange those, I think. Um, specialist rampage. Ah, that's not been completed yet. Okay, so that's all good. We'll take a snapshot of that as well. And then we'll dismiss. And we are ready to go back to our HQ but we are not going to do that tonight we obviously had come to the end of our broadcast it was a bit of a shorter broadcast than usual but we were able to complete this lovely mission it was a very good one uh, I actually enjoyed it a lot more than last night um, than the missions I played last night and uh, we will continue tomorrow morning with another broadcast when we will continue to fight uh, in destiny I want to thank you all for coming, participating in our community, for providing me with tips, with advice, uh, 
corrections and also for playing the game together with me for those of you who had come in on co-op missions i really greatly appreciated your assistance and help uh, there were a number of missions um, particularly during the dlc content that i was not able to finish by myself and your helping hand was greatly appreciated so thank you all for being so kind and so helping and i will be back tomorrow um, i think we'll have one broadcast in the morning and at this point uh, i would like to wish you all a very good night